This is a real, real, realistic. This, this for the mom. This is for the mom's type of vlog. Ah, are you talking to me? Good job. Can you give us your opinion? What's your review on this? Me and the Willow, we got problems. To some people, this is gonna look like a lot, and to other people, this is literally gonna be nothing. And we didn't even get a whole shower this morning. Well, good morning. I need to put some clothes on really quickly. Is that okay? I'll put you down for just a second. Hey. You have toots? Stink a butt. Stink a butt. You good? You gotta go potty? <laughs> what are you doing? You gonna kick me in the face? Wow. You smell good. Okay, sassy. I'm gonna throw my clothes on. And we're gonna change your diaper. Okay. Well, good morning. It is 7.43 and we have two minutes to throw on our clothes and get back on our pumps. So that's what I'm about to do. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming, 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 I'm coming. timer went off and I need to get back on my pump -a dumps I need to get back on my pumps Do you hungry ah 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 can I put my boobs back in okay just sit in my lap right here for just a second okay love hate relationship with the spectra I have to put the tubes back in all the time because they be coming out and you also Gotta make sure you turn it down before you put it back on. Or else, are you looking so cute? Or else, it's gonna rip your nipples to shreds. 
yeah but these right here i'm about to put y'all on oh i spilled milk everywhere i'm about to put y'all on the goods of today yeah are you smiling are you smiling now my belly rolls hi handsome I spilled a little milk by you is that okay i spilled a little milk by you okay let me stop playing Back to sleep. Are you going back to sleep? Let me turn this sound machine off so y'all can. It's not a whole bunch of background noise. We use the Hatch Mini in our room. I love it because it connects to your phone so you can literally like turn it on and off from your phone I never thought it was worth the money because and I didn't buy it for my last two boys it's 100% worth the money or just like if you don't want the big one get the mini it's cheaper I love it yeah you're a funny little character this morning aren't you today's video if you guys tell by the title all that this is gonna be 24 hours in a day with a newborn and i have been wanting to film this video for so 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 long but i just wanted it to be like perfect and super like aesthetic for you guys and that is just not the reality of having a newborn and um he's five weeks now so i was like okay we got to get this out um so just bear with me today i'm gonna try to like really like take you guys along for like you know the majority of the time when he's awake so you guys can really see what it's like we're gonna go into depth about my all the different pumps that i've had that i've used what i did in the beginning oh what's your matter you'll be happy than sad then happy than sad yeah <laughs> i just had your love okay yeah, I know. Gotta change your booty too. Yeah, we're gonna talk about all the baby products and newborn stuff that I have, what I like, what I don't like. And I'm kind of glad I waited a little bit to film this video because he's five weeks now, so I can actually say what worked and what didn't work in the beginning. It would have probably been like a completely different video. So, um, yeah. It is, uh, I showed you guys the time, it's like seven o'clock. Um, our wake up wake up time is usually anywhere between like once like we're getting out of the bed is anywhere between like six and seven <sighs> I was trying to debate if I was going to try to film in the middle of the night and I think that would be very 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 chaotic so I'm just gonna tell you guys a little bit about the night instead I'll insert a couple clips I did try to record myself while, while I was like up in the middle of the night pumping or whatever last night we were up from the morning time like around this time until 2 a.m. yesterday because that's what time he went to sleep and that's not normal we're usually in the bed way earlier than that but for some reason he was just like wide awake like we were like laying down and like chilling but he just like wasn't going to sleep so yeah every day is a little different so yeah we're not on a full like routine or schedule i'm not in sleep training mode yet he's still really little he still needs to wake up to eat in the night um i think the book's recommendation is like once the baby is like either six weeks or 11 or 16 pounds something like that i'll have to pull the book out today and maybe we'll like look at it together because getting close to the sleep training time maybe but not there yet um i don't remember that's why i bought the book it's called call calling all moms it's really good it gives you just like a guide of different things um and the one thing that i really like about it is that it talks about sleep training which is like super important for me didn't do it with our first and it was he was in our bed so he was like one and a half he didn't sleep through the night um and then with carson we sleep trained him and he was sleeping through the night by four months so and he he never co-slept with us he never slept in our bed or anything like that so he was the easiest to transition out judah 
If I call him Judah, that's his middle name. His name's Carmelo, but his middle name is Judah, so. With Judah, he has co-slept with us. I try not to do it too often, but some nights I'm literally just like exhausted. But for the most part, he's been sleeping in this Halo bassinet over here. Um, also, there will be timestamps in this video if you want to skip over any portion because a lot of this video is going to be like, I'm going to be doing things, but I'm also going to be talking a lot in detail and in depth and trying to explain as much as I can. So that way, if you're a new mom or you just had a baby or you're having a baby or if you're just hanging out with me because you love me, girl, thank you. But um, it is going to be a lot of explaining because I get a lot of questions and I want to make sure that I answer them in this video. This is why I am taking the day out of like a weekly vlog to make a whole separate dedicated video and try to like answer a lot of the questions that I get asked. So yeah i think i talked about everything we're gonna cover today so i'm just gonna start like with w what we doing so obviously i woke up this morning and i'm doing my first pump session of the morning for my first pump session of the morning i try to do um 20 minutes on 10 minutes pause 10 minutes on 10 mi you know the the cluster feeding basically method to like one like start like stimulating my milk supply for the day and then also to empty myself out from the night my morning pump is usually when i get the most milk <clears throat> i will say if you watched my last vlog um you guys know my milk supply has been one either leveling out or two kind of decreasing because i haven't been doing everything i'm technically supposed to do like this morning i left my water cup downstairs so i really haven't had much water which I should have had during the middle of the night and right when I woke up this morning. So I'm also trying to work on getting my milk supply back up, but I'm also going to share with you guys like what I was doing in the beginning when my milk supply was really, really like it was really coming in. Like I have like a decent freezer stash from when I first started pumping. Yeah, we're going to do all that. You want to burp? <clears throat> Ooh. yeah so i'm pumping i'm stopping now that was the 10 10 minute mark his dad actually was already up with him this morning like whenever they first wake up in the morning if he's up then his dad will kind of like settle him and feed him but i guess he didn't finish his bottle and he kind of just like fell back asleep so i guess that's why he's up now usually i have like a little bit of time in the morning but i guess not today buddy <laughs> bottle feeding i'm exclusively pumping um i'll talk more about it when i talk about the pumps i'll do that this morning when i'm like cleaning out the bottles and kind of like showing you guys the day's setup i guess but um yeah we pump in the morning and then depending on like how things happen this morning he's kind of like falling back to sleep and I told you guys he was already up and he kind of went back to sleep and he woke up while I was in the shower so once I'm done with my pumping session I get up and change him and um, get him dressed for the day are you milk drunk are you milk drunk I'm going to finish my um, last 20 minutes of my pump, I'm doing a 10 minute rest cycle and then I'm gonna go again for 20 minutes. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare reminds us to prioritize our self care and wellness by investing in ourselves and resetting our personal life with a wide variety of classes. They are an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning or just wants to explore their creativity and learn a new skill. For instance, if you have a specific skill you're trying to learn, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography and illustration to graphic design, freelance, and more, you can find a class that will match your goals and interests. It's ad-free so you can stay in the zone while exploring new skills in addition to taking care of everyday tasks. There are new premium classes launched each week so there's always something new to discover. And the entire catalog is available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. Been joining in on the class Designing the Life You Want, Four Exercises for Clarity and Motivation by Michelle V. This class is all about reflecting on your life, what you want, what you don't want, and who you want to show up as every day, which is some of the most important practices of self-care. If you're looking for an easy way to invest in yourself and your personal growth, be one of the first thousand people to click the link in my description box or use my code McKenna Walker to get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Yeah. 
is back asleep for now. Usually when he hears me start talking or like getting up, he starts to wake up. But I have like mastered the art of just like getting ready really fast. So I like, y'all saw, I took my shower earlier this morning. I always try to jump in the shower either before um, Aaron leaves with Carter and Carson for the day. So that way if I'm like in the shower and he wakes up, somebody else is here. But this morning I didn't get up and some mornings I don't. So I'll just try to like run and take me a quick shower really fast so i'm about to just like finish getting ready now since he's like sleep i take advantage of whatever little short periods of time he gives me in the beginning it was very blissful i was getting like three hours to like you know get myself together get ready for the day because he was sleeping in longer stretches and now he's just like awake so uh, <clears throat> i'm just gonna do my morning skincare really fast it's like literally super simple i just wash my face with my um La Rouge. This is the purifying foaming cleanser for normal to oily skin. what the day looks like or what the days have been looking like while I like finished getting ready really quickly. The only other thing I do for skincare is like my sunscreen and stuff like that but I've been keeping it in my bathroom downstairs because that's usually where I am after I like get up and put my clothes on for the day where I usually like downstairs but my hair is super dirty and gross but I'm getting it done this week so it doesn't matter we're just gonna we're just gonna do like a little messy clip look and call it a day. It would probably be helpful to me if I slept with my hair like wrapped up or something at night, but I don't be doing it. The point of me getting ready in the morning is to look presentable enough that I could go outside, but not that put together that, that it really takes that much time. So I usually just, you know, kind of zhuzh up any little hairs I sweated out <laughs> in the middle of the night. <laughs> But nothing too fancy like we're not going anywhere super special and if you know me you know i really don't really care that much about how i look i'll be looking crazy but i do encourage you if you have some time to take the time to put yourself to, like put yourself together in the morning um because that just really helps me be productive like just like taking that step to get out of bed and like get myself together kind of helps me get going for the day Little flyaway hairs up. <sighs> Do my little baby thing really quickly. I don't care if the rest of my hair looks crazy. If my baby hairs are laid, then it's a good day. My bun's a little crooked today, but it's all good. Oh, I did want to go through a couple other things this morning. I kind of like skipped over my shower routine really quickly, but you guys can see that it's like a really, really, really quick like base soap type of wipe down in the shower just to like make myself feel alive again. So postpartum, postpartum, postpartum. Okay. We're moisturized already because you know I put my little body oil on before I get out of the shower just because I do not have the time to put the lotion on. But <clears throat> I really wanted this video to be a lot more just like aesthetic -y, but we're gonna put some glycolic acid on um, and I put it underneath my armpits postpartum like body odor I don't know what the deal is I'm personally somebody who like honestly like I didn't ever really struggle with body odor to like the extreme but like postpartum is like girl it is bad so 
I'm doing the glycolic acid. I'm gonna need my armpits to just help with <clears throat> the like um, smell and stuff. And then I've been using Min's deodorant. Not this one. Well, it is that one, but I don't want that one. Okay. This was just the Clean Comfort by Dove. This is what my boyfriend uses. So this is what we have. So this is what I'll be using. And I just putting it on. Okay. And then I'm still wearing my postpartum panties just because honestly, I, I don't know, like I, I'm still like having spotting sometimes on some days, but honestly, it's not every day, but every day I wear these panties. That's like my new thing. They're just really comfortable and if I'm not going out of the house and nobody's seeing me in them except for the people that live here, then, you know, I, mean, I guess you guys, I'd be forgetting that like, I'd be, I'd be so concerned about what I look like when I go out the house when I probably only see about 10 15 people depending on what time of day it is I get on here looking at this and I see y'all in thousands hundreds of thousands of people see see these videos so where's the logic I don't know but I'm just gonna get dressed really fast I'm gonna put on my little skims outfit so we're just gonna be lounging around the house for the most part i do want to take you guys out of the house just one time today just so that you can like see the car seat that i have and how it works because it's the duna and i get a ton of questions about it so i'm gonna load y'all up with everything y'all have been asking me about in this video so my socks on if you watched my vlog and saw my skims haul i did last week but well, matching set makes me feel like I'm put together, like I can accomplish something for the day. He still sleeps, so I'm gonna let him sleep. I'm not gonna wake him up. I'm not gonna wake him up. Let me turn the light off. Uh, I know as soon as I get down there, though, he's gonna start. He just over here sleep. Don't mind my room. It's a mess. I tried to clean it up for y'all last night because I knew I was gonna film this, but. So I have this little caddy that I keep. I have two of them and one of them I use solely for moving things up and down the stairs um, or you could use it for obviously room to room but it just makes it easier so I can put all of the like dirty bottles in here from last night plus the milk that I pumped last night just stuff like that but <clears throat> I do have um, a mini fridge in my bedroom which makes it kind of like easier for me as far as like putting my milk up at night and not having to come all the way down the stairs. If I lived just like on one level, then I would just probably walk to the normal fridge, but I do have a mini fridge, so I just thought I would mention that because that is how I store my milk at night after I pump. I just put it in that fridge um, in my room and then bring it down in the morning. So, I'm trying to put y'all in here. Okay, here we have all the bottles for the daytime that I cleaned out last night. Brand of bottle that I use is the Nano Baby. It's this shape. They do have the brush shape bottles, which I did use with Carson. I did these ones because they're silicone. It's supposed to be good for like babies who are breastfed or like interchanging. And I can say that I don't know if it's just like me personally, but I he has had no problem going from those bottles back to the boob so like on the occasions where i did breastfeed him so yeah everything that we have from last night a dirty bottle i'll show you guys my whole night setup um at night time but we're gonna clean those out this morning we have our little modello bottles this is the milk i had one extra bottle left over from last night and that's probably because he went to sleep um like way later last night and then my pump parts that I'm gonna wash out his bottle and then this is the milk from our morning session so usually I get about enough in the morning to use for the rest of the day so I usually get about like 12 ounces this is a little bit under 12 ounces okay I have some like extra that I can use <clears throat> and then this is what I got at my 2 a.m. pump sausage so you guys can see like it's not a lot I did not pump for a long time last night at two o'clock because like I told y'all, like right when we literally were like falling asleep at two, like he was finally deciding to go to bed and then I had to pump and I was exhausted. So I pumped for like 10 minutes 
and just to like do it and I got what is that like five and a half ounces so yeah yeah I'm just gonna prep the bottles really quickly he's drinking um about three ounces I would say I, I, I can't tell y'all like exactly if it's like every two to three hours because like he's kind of I want to say still like cluster feeding so he he can go long stretches and then he'll eat like back to back to back so yeah I'll use one this milk that's left um, and just pour it over into this bottle that way I can just clean it out and then I try to use the oldest milk first if that makes sense so i'm gonna use also the milk from this pumping session from the 2 a.m session that's about three ounces <clears throat> so last one So now I'm just going to put the tops on all of these and then everything is going to go on the fridge. This is basically what I have left over for the day. So I'll show you guys what I do with that and like my milk storage if I have any like leftover for my freezer stash at nighttime. Okay, so I told you guys about like my milk supply this morning and how kind of like it's been like decreasing so i kept extra milk in the freezer last night just in case i mean in the fridge last night in case i needed it and i didn't get a chance to freeze it so we're gonna do that really quickly while i make my breakfast these are things that i have heard can increase your milk supply and that's personally kind of why i eat them so we got oatmeal i was literally eating like two of these every day in the beginning when i first came home from the hospital i haven't had it like consistently this last week because I just got kind of like tired. Oh, I thought that there's a dish in there. Anyways, I just kind of got tired of eating oatmeal like over and over and over and over and over again. So I did switch over to something else, which I was also going to share with you guys. So I was eating life cereal and it's switching out regular milk for oat milk and it's actually not bad it's like super good let me open up these the lines so we can get some more light but it's actually really really good i like it um the life cereal is not like anything specific i just eat life cereal because that's my cereal of choice um and then i was using oat milk because oat milk oatmeal all that stuff's supposed to be like really good for your supply so i'll either have oatmeal in the morning um or I'll have cereal with oat milk. And those two things have not changed. That's what I eat every morning for breakfast. So I'll also show, share with you guys like during the day like what I snack on and stuff like that. I don't even think I have any spoons clean. That is the reality of living with a newborn. And my dishwasher is broken as well. Let me turn the air off. Sorry, the AC is really loud and I'm like so used to it. I don't even hear when it kicks on in the background. So if it was on this whole time, I apologize. I know it's noisy. Did I bring my phone down here? I did not. Okay. Mixing it up. I add a little bit of maple syrup to my oatmeal. I don't, it's like this thing that my grandma used to do for me when I was little. Cause she used to buy like plain oatmeal and then like make it like maple syrup and brown sugar so now i just like always add syrup to my oatmeal it's good okay i'm gonna let that cool down really fast get my water ready for the day so i try to drink out of a water bottle that has a straw in it because it's just like makes it so much easier for me to get my water in. like if i don't have my cup with my straw i usually like won't drink a lot of water during the day so i'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up i have like this cup just for regular water and then in the mornings i also like to make myself like a little so i'll take like a separate cup I'll either do like regular coconut water i usually put ice in it i don't know why 
it's just so much easier to drink things when they're on ice. And then I add a little bit of juice to it because I personally don't like the way that coconut water tastes like plain coconut water like this by itself. Anyways, coconut water is supposed to be like really, really hydrating and good for your milk supply. So I'll either have this or guilty I'll like Uber eat something with like similar to this from Starbucks, which is like the pink drink. And then when I get tired of drinking this, I'll drink a body armor. I feel like you gotta have options or you'll get tired of like drinking the same thing every day, which is kind of what happened to me. So I picked up the body armor. Um, I didn't really like some of the other flavors, but the blue raspberry one is pretty good. And then also they make this kids brand. This is what I give to my kids called Creative Roots. Um, the mixed berry flavor, this is also really good. Like I can drink this on its own and this on its own. But I only do coconut water. Um, right when I wake up in the morning and right before I go to bed because coconut water has like a ton of potassium in it and potassium gives me a really really bad headache so um I just feel like I always have to share that because I didn't know what the cause of my headaches were for a long time like when I was in high school and I used to drink these sparkling waters all the time and they had a lot of potassium in it and my grandma was like that's why you have headaches and I was like okay so I make sure I don't drink too much but this is what I like to start my day with so we can go ahead and get that extra hydration in there. I'm just gonna eat my oatmeal. Bag up this milk and clean out the bottles and the pumpkin parts. So the freezer bags I use are this brand. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it because Lord knows I don't know how. Um, you're supposed to like roll your milk and not like shake your milk because apparently that like breaks up the nutrients and breast milk. So I've been trying to be in a better habit of doing that because before, like you know the milk, the milk like separates in the fridge and stuff. So I was like, you know, not like vigorously like shaking it, but like shaking it a little bit. So now I'm trying to like slowly roll it. I just heard that's better. I don't know if it really makes a difference or not. So we have a total of about 10 and a half ounces. I'm storing my freezer bags right now in four or five ounces. So since it's like 10 and a half, I'm just gonna do two five ounce bags. So I'm gonna write the date of yesterday, which would have been June the 14th. I forgot I didn't bring my phone down here. June 14th, volume five ounces. And then I'm just going to use another bottle to measure. Okay. To make sure that they're laying flat. Um, there's a couple different like tricks you can do, but I do like the pushing it up against the, oh, you guys can't even see. <sighs> okay. Anyways, I was trying to show you guys how I do it, but I'll show you guys more in depth tonight when I, cause I usually freeze my milk at night and not in the morning, but, um, yeah, I just lay it against the counter and then you want to just make sure that it's laying flat when you put it in the freezer. So I just have like this little container that I put it in. This is. I'll show y'all. Una momento. I'm gonna have to get a deep freezer if I keep stashing my milk up at this rate. <sighs> Let's go over here to the freezer so I can show you guys. Um, I'll pull out and show you guys how much I have so far stashed up. Less, but I just wanted to show you guys because I know a lot of people are curious. Um, so obviously, don't compare yourself to me. Like, I have to tell myself that included because to some people, this is going to look like a lot, and to other people, this is literally going to be nothing because, um, like, some people just like overproduce. I don't feel like I'm an extreme overproducer, but I obviously did was able to collect somewhat of a stash since I first came home. So I just want to show you guys what I'm storing them in. I have these like bins from Amazon that I'll link and then obviously these little baggies. So far I only have about like maybe four, four of these and like a 
a third because I need to move some milk over. When I first put the milk in the freezer, I store it in something like this so it can like lay flat. Ugh, like just like whatever little container you have. And then I'll transfer it over into these bins. So I haven't really counted how much I have, but I want to say when I did like, I want to say every bin is like a, is like, let me see. One, Like 24 bags of four ounces. So what's the math on that? I don't even have my phone to do the calculator. We don't really have to do math. 24 plus 24 is 48. Plus 24 is what like that's too much math. I want to say it's like 70 something. So like so I probably have about like a week and a half's worth of a stash. Like if I were to like stop producing milk um, like today. So it's really not that much. It looks like a lot, but it's really not. I feel like as much. That, that much but anyways so I'm just gonna make sure everything is sealed up and then put those bags in there so they can lay as flat as possible this container is not really a good example to do this in I was using something else before like um, something less deep because it's a little bit easier but one day I had like a lot of milk that I needed to like lay flat so I had used this so i'm just gonna put it all back into the freezer really quickly that way it doesn't start to eat all or anything like that another tip that i learned is do not store your breast milk on the side of the, the side of the freezer right here on the door because if you're opening and closing the door all day that can affect the temperature of the milk and we don't want to do that okay I need to finish my oatmeal and drink my water before I do anything else. I have to like force myself to eat because people say you get like a really increased appetite like, when you're breastfeeding or pumping and I do not. I've been having to like force myself to eat especially in the mornings my appetite is like which I think is like a postpartum thing postpartum depression when you add the depression part it kind of makes it like extreme so i don't know how to like say it but like a symptom of postpartum depression is decreased appetite um so i did want to like talk about postpartum depression a little bit just because i feel like it's something that i've experienced like i've been postpartum three times now and my experience each time has been different so i do want to talk about that at some point today i think i hear him waking up so i'm about to grab him Gotta get your clothes up to the dryer. Mm, Having a newborn means lots of laundry that you don't put away because nobody has time for that. Oh no! Here I come. Out this dirty, dirty, dirty diaper. I know. Okay, you're gonna be mad because it's gonna be cold, but we're gonna be quick. I know, we're gonna be so quick. Okay, he's gonna be a little bit fussy, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm using. You have toots, you wanna get your gas out? I'm gonna use this um, no wrench cleansing water and just squirt it all over his booty. It's cold. He doesn't really like it, but get some wipes, and then I'm going to wipe them down. The no rinse water, just make sure that they're staying, like, really clean down there. It also will help, like, just, like, rinse everything away. What's the matter? I know. I saw you. Oh, no. Okay. I personally use Pampers diapers. Um, they are my favorite, I will say. It's the brand I've stuck with after three kids, so. Yeah. I just gotta make sure you're real clean. A tip for boy moms, if you had a boy, if their wee wee is poking out, they are going to pee on you. So have an extra diaper 
ready or put a wipe over their pee pee so it doesn't spray everywhere. Yeah, do you have your diaper on now? It's so dark in here because of the blackout curtains, but I 1010 would recommend blackout curtains in the nursery or your room, wherever the baby is gonna be at. But anyways, okay, so sorry if y'all can't really see because the lighting is dark, but this is the Burt's Bees Healing Ointment. Love, love, love this as a like diaper, cream, um, ointment, whatever the case, but I just put it on one of these little Bumco brushes and I'm just gonna like spread it on his butt. Then we can get you dressed. You want to put some clothes on so you can be warm. Hi, Hi. Munchkin. Hi, Munchkin. Hi. Okay. I okay, know. After I get you all snuggled up, it's gonna be better. And we're gonna go get some milk. You wanna get some milk? Uh -uh. Don't throw up on me already. Do not throw up on me already. We're wearing skills today. All right. Let's move this party downstairs. Hi. Downstairs. Just so you guys can have a time reference to, it's 9:10. Okay. So we've been up for about two hours. All right, eat. Are you gonna eat my face? Are you gonna eat my face? Are you gonna eat my face? Your eyes are extra, are looking extra blue today, buddy. Yeah. You good? I said, yeah, I was like, Mickey Baba. No, you don't like that. He was like, Are you starting to smile? Hmm? Let's talk about this thing called the Four Moms Mama Roo. The bougiest swing of them all. Do we like it? Do we love it? What do you think? What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Can you give us your opinion? What's your review on this? Good. Mid. It's mid. Yeah. <sighs> All right. He's ready for a bottle, so I'm gonna go ahead and take one out of the fridge. For so this is the bottle warmer that I use. It's from it's um the brand Baby's Brew. And I got it because it's supposed to be like an on-the-go, portable um, type of thing. second bottle of the morning which is like right on schedule it's around 9 17 to be exact so that would also mean that it's about time for me to pump again so <sighs> i'm trying to pump every two to three hours this last week i've been trying to pump more closer to two hours because i was trying to like build my supply back up because i felt like it was decreasing a little bit yeah i would just pump like every two to three hours and then during the daytime and then for my night stretches i finish my last pumping session around 10 and then i go four hours without pumping so 10 to 2 yeah 10 to 2 a.m and then 2 a.m to 
when I wake up in the morning, which is in between like six and seven. So my longest stretch without pumping in the night could be up to five hours, which I feel like is not super bad. I'm still including my 2 a.m. pumping sessions, so I'm technically still getting the middle of the night pump. Um, yeah, I need a burp cloth. So also how I'll know it's time to pump is like pretty much like around the clock every like three and a half hours my boobs will start to like like I'll start to have a letdown on my own Be like okay girl we're, we're we're full and they'll just start to like leak really bad so that's also a reminder to pump but I have an alarm set for every like three hours just to remind me or if I fall asleep and we like take a nap together or something that I can like to like get up and pump or whatever we need a burp cloth we need a burp cloth for you. Is that okay? These are the burp cloths that I have. They're like muslin burp cloths from Amazon. I'll link all the stuff that I have in my Amazon storefront. Literally everything I got is from Amazon. Um, but this camera battery is about to die, so I'm gonna finish up feeding him. It usually takes me anywhere from like, it, it, bottle like bottle feeding a newborn really actually takes like, like low key some time. So it takes me like anywhere from like, Feeding is done. He's over there in like a dream sleep. He's like moving around a lot, but I'm about to wash out my pump parts. So that way I can get to pumping. This is why it's exhausting. I feel like pumping because it's like, I literally just pumped for an hour and then I already need to pump again. Like, it's not getting. Bottle, bottle wash that I use is by Baby Organic. To sanitize my body bottles, I'm using, um, what is it? Like, it's technically like a kettle, I think, but it's just a, like, way faster process of boiling and sterilizing the pump parts for the day than, like, putting a pot on the stove to, like, warm it up. Um, and I never really wanted one of those, like, bottle sterilizer things. I just think that's easier. It'll boil it, take it out, let it cool off for a second, and then I'll be ready to pump. Um which I actually think I'm about to have a letdown, so I'm about to like take my t-shirt down or it's gonna be all dirty. I don't have any pads in. This is a real, real, realistic, this this for the mom, this for the mom's tech vlog, cause like, yeah, I don't, I can like kind of feel when I'm about to have like a letdown and it's been like three and a half hours, so I can feel it is going like, they start to like tingle a little bit and then it's like, so. And then I have, this right here you don't want to touch it because when it comes in it's going to be like super super hot so i just dumped it on there put the next one in Boom. you just want to don't if you do this just don't fill it up to the max line on the kettle or it will go everywhere while we're doing dishes and pumping let's talk about pumps so if you guys know like if you follow me on instagram or if you saw my like recent vlogs you guys know i was using the willow pump it was the only pump i bought for pumping originally because i was like it's hands-free it'll be more convenient which in the concept of it is more convenient especially because i feel like that's why i gave up trying to do this last time because i just didn't want to feel like restricted to sit down at a pump so i wanted something that was more of a hands-free option so i got the willow me and the willow we got problems okay let me tell y'all but 500 dollars i'm gonna tell y'all all the pros and cons that i think about it because i just think it's important especially if you're gonna like like when you're getting a pump those are the things that i really researched and i, I wanted to know a lot about so okay I would say the Willow, the concept of it is super convenient, but it is not user friendly. Um, one, it has like a learning curve, which I knew everybody says that about it. It has like um, this thing called like flip to finish. He's a really loud sleeper. So if y'all hear him in the background, I usually just like give it a minute to see if he's actually up or if he's just like 
loudly sleeping, but <clears throat> anyways, so the Willow has this thing called like flip to finish that you need to do every single time you finish pumping. The flip to finish part is like super tricky and it took me a couple times to do it, which means I spilled a lot of milk um, using it. And then also in the middle of the night, when you're delusional at 2 a.m., if you forget to like flip the thing, like the turn the dial on the pump, and then you go to like pour your milk to in a bottle or something, it's gonna spill everywhere. And that happened to me a couple times, which was really frustrating. But then I was like, okay, it's just me. I need to remember to do it. It's not the pump. And then I started realizing like after a couple times of using it, that every time I would use it, the right one would give me some type of error message in the app and be like, oh, please flush through the container or the valve, check the seal, like, and it literally would not start pumping, so. <laughs> My left boob would be pumping for like 20 minutes before I could even get the right one like on. Uh, the pump and it was just extremely frustrating especially when you're trying to like keep a schedule what you over there talking about? anyways it just had a lot of technical difficulties that I felt like it shouldn't have for $500 um, the pumps themselves are really heavy so you need like a really good supportive bra and while you can move around with them I felt like I always had to be cautious because they were so heavy that they were gonna like fall down so anyways i had a lot of technical difficulties with the willow so i can't really say that i would recommend it the only pros to it is that it is hands-free which is a nice like option to have obviously if you want to be mobile while pumping and they have an app that tracks how many ounces you pumped in a day which is nice if you want to know exactly like what you're producing and keep like track of everything but, but honestly i was having so many technical difficulties with it that i was like i can't do this anymore so i'm gonna order a different pump and also like if you have like the containers they only you can only put into four ounces into them so then you have to stop your session pour out the milk put it back in there there was just a lot of things i don't want to like rag on them because i know that for some people they really like it and it works for them it was just my experience that i didn't really like the willow so then i ordered the spectra what i really like about the spectra is that you can adjust the levels which makes pumping way more comfortable for me because like with the willow it's just like strong pulls as soon as you kind of like put it on and that was really hurting my nipples like it was making it like almost unbearable to pump like every time i would put them on i would like tense up to like prepare my body for like how much pain i was going to be in so i like that i can start at a low level on the spectra and then work my way up it makes my pumping like doesn't hurt at all my nipples still get sore just because they're still getting adjusted but it's definitely like way 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 better and my sizing on the willows and i did all my measurements and all that stuff so i know all that stuff was right it was just that the pump itself doesn't have a lot of options as far as modes it like does the stimulation on its own and then it just goes into expression on its own and you can increase the suction but um, that's about it. So I like that this has a lot of different features. So I can do the massage. He's such a loud sleeper, but I promise it's okay. But you can do the massage or let down for as long as you need to and like customize it to whatever works best for you. And you can like adjust the cycle and the vacuum level and all that stuff. So I really, really like it. <clears throat> the only thing I didn't like about the Spectra was the original like, phalanges and system it comes with so it comes with two bottles and the pumps that look like this so it's like the traditional pump you know where it's like sticking out of your bra and then you have the bottles right here i could not stand that because i was like i can't do anything with this i can't move around I don't want my nipple out 24 7 if i'm trying to pump and like i'm just casually sitting in my house or maybe there's people here like that's just awkward so i was like i need to find another way to pump but use the spectra so i found these cups and i'm obsessed with them because it's pretty much hands-free in a sense i'm connected to this so i can only go so far but i can still move around and move this around with me and get a little bit of things done and then also they have the spectra s9 which i was hoping to have in this video before i filmed it but i had like an issue with the mailing like it got delivered to somebody else's house so unfortunately i have to order it again today but 
The Spectra S9 is like a small portable pump that you can just like put in your pocket or like I could get like a little fanny pack and wear it and then it's completely basically like hands free. Um, you do have these little things right here but you can totally like uh, like tuck these into your shirt, put it, the pump in your pocket and like put a t-shirt over it and you're good to go. So that would be my recommendation. That's what I'm going to be doing going forward when I need to like pump and move around is the Spectra S9. And then I have this one obviously that I already bought. So I'm just going to keep it and then I can use it when I'm more stationary or like in my bed or on the couch or something like that. But if you're thinking about getting a pumping system and you want to have something hands-free and you can only do one thing, I would get the Spectra S9. I will have it linked. If you guys keep up with my vlogs, whenever it comes in the mail, I'll show you guys what it looks like. But it's basically this and a portable thing. The only function that's taken away, I believe, is the cycle mode, but you can still adjust the vacuum levels. You still have the let down button and like control over that stuff. And then it'll be so much easier to like take on the go. It's still giving me like comfortability. I love these cups because they're so lightweight. Like I told you guys, the willows are pretty heavy. And these, I just feel like I can like actually move freely around. They're not like weighing my chest down or anything because they're just like little plastic cups. The only thing that you have to be careful about with these is um, you have to stay in an upright position. You can't do like be laying back in the bed with these because they will leak. Um, where the tubing connects right here is where the small hole is to pour the milk out. So two pumps that I wanted to talk about are manual pumps that I used a lot in the beginning. So we've got the Haka and then the Medela manual pump. So it comes with a little bottle and you put it on here like this. I would say for the price point, I would get this in the beginning if you're really trying to like bring your milk in. Not exclusively breastfeeding if you're pumping or even if you're doing both, but you really want your milk to just come in. I feel like this is why I was able to get all of that stash really because the Willow was like, it was it was pumping it was doing the thing but like the, i was getting way more milk way faster using this i could get what i was like i could get the same amount of what i was pumping on 25 minutes with a willow with this manual pump in five minutes when i had the time to like sit down and just like do it myself i would and i really feel like that really helped my milk come in and what i would do is i would manually pump on one side i would put my hawk on the other side to catch my letdown on the other boob and then i would basically just like switch them to finish it all off and i got like a decent amount of milk doing that and then also the times that i did breastfeed him i would always put my haka on the other side there's lots of reviews on it so if you don't know how to use it um you can look it up but you just basically squeeze it put it around your boob flip the top over let it go and then it can like makes this continuous suction and i would get a ton of milk on the other side when i was breastfeeding him on one side so if you're doing exclusively breastfeeding i've seen people make whole stashes just using the haka but yeah that's just kind of like my spiel on the whole pumping situation I So I did my pumping session, finished the dishes. So let's see how much we got from our 9 a.m. Barely anything. <sighs> yeah. So I got about three ounces which is what he's eating so i'm not gonna be mad about it i'm not gonna stress over um the amount of milk i'm producing anymore i feel like sometimes during the day like um i get a little bit and then other times i get a lot so this time i just i just didn't get a lot so i i'm gonna make myself a quick snack really fast so i'm gonna have 
a yogurt. This one is coconut milk. I don't really know if that makes a difference for your milk supply or not, but it's just dairy free. And I didn't want to have be having a lot of dairy intake because I didn't know how that would affect his belly and stuff. He does have a lot of. I'm just gonna have some yogurt with some granola and honey. Sometimes I add bananas onto it if I have bananas. Now is the time of day where I just usually will start working on anything that I need to do, whether that's around the house or edits or stuff like that. We big chillin'. Playing in his boppy, and then we have this big cover on the thing, but I did want to talk about the boppy versus the boppy for breastfeeding. If you're gonna breastfeed, skip the boppy. Well, unless you're gonna use it like a little lounger like this for them to just like hang out in during the day, then it's cool. But if you're gonna try to use it for like breastfeeding, like wrapping around you, like what it's like essentially like made for, I would say get the breast friend instead, which I have, I'll show it to you guys later. It's upstairs in my room. Um, but when you're using the boppy, it like has that like gap in between. So then like it's hard to get comfortable and it's hard to like hold baby even with it while you're breastfeeding. So just get the breast friend. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show y'all later. Um, or you can look at it on my online or it'll be in my Amazon store account. But yeah, I'm just trying to remember. I have like notes on my phone of just like every little thing that I wanted to tell you guys because it's just like I learned it. So I'm trying to give the information to whoever needs it so that they don't have to go through the same things that I did in the beginning. Um, or purchasing things that are like unnecessary so yeah we're gonna eat my yogurt we're gonna work on uh, answering some emails replying to some comments and then I'll check back in with you guys once he wakes up um, it is I want to say like 10 something now let's see it's 10 15 so yeah I'll check in back in with you guys the next time he wakes up I'm just giving him a little bit of gripe water while his bottle warms up because he's been having a lot of gas and I did notice that this gripe water does work you can give it to them like pretty much with every feeding so I've been trying to give it to him before his bottles if he's not too fussy yeah it's on 71. Oh shit, we're spilling up. That's never happened before. Yeah, you want to change your diaper while your milk warms up? I know you're not going to like it, but let's just go ahead and do it. so it's really only been like what like mm, an hour and 15 minutes since the last time he ate so that's why it's kind of hard to say like what his eating schedule is um it's kind of all over the place so i'm just gonna let him eat what he wants to eat when he wants to eat it's usually in between like two to three ounces every single time but yeah and then if he stays awake, I'm trying not to mess with him while he's asleep, but if he stays awake after this bottle, I'm going to like clean his face and do his like little face washing for the morning because if you guys can see, he is having like a little bit of um, baby acne, which is completely normal. It's usually like the most noticeable when he first wakes up in the morning, but after I kind of like clean and wash his face for the day, it like kind of subsides. Both all three of my boys had it at around this kind of like age. Um, in between like one and two months it's normal just got to make sure we keep it clean so it doesn't get out of control um, and then also if I notice that it's like feeling dry I'll put on some like um, aquaphor on his face or this other kind of like moisturizing thing that I have from the Mustela brand um, so yeah 
I just apply the no rinse cleansing water onto a wipe and then I'll just wash his face off with it and then we'll also do a little tongue brush cleaning I got these off Amazon just to clean like the milk residue off of his tongue and stuff yeah but we're watching catfish if y'all hear that in the background throughout the day while um I'm recording or whatever so. it's like mm, oh well it's about to be 11 o'clock now so I'll probably um pump again like around I try to pump after he eats to kind of keep my body on that schedule like I'm breastfeeding so after he finishes and he's back chill I'll pump again <laughs> So he is on his third feed and it is almost exactly two hours later, I think. So he's eating a little bit more frequently today than normal, um, or maybe just not as long as nap stretches, but I'm getting tired, so I'm going to feed him, pump, and then probably take a nap myself. I placed an Amazon Prime order for a couple of things that are supposed to come. I want to try out some milk supplements um, and see how those work. I haven't tried taking anything for my milk supply. I've just been taking my regular prenatal vitamins, probiotics, and stuff like that. And I have not tried like anything specifically for milk production. So I ordered some of the liquid gold. And we're going to see um, what happens. But I'm going to take a nap. Um, before the big kids get home from school. Welcome from a nap. Hungry. So about to have my next snack that I feel like helps with bum 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 milk supply. I it's this oatly ice cream and it's basically ice cream made of oat milk. And it is fire. It's actually really good. So I'm about to eat this and sit down, do a little pump. I've been asleep for like just an hour i ended up falling asleep around like one and then he woke me up so it's only been an hour since i've been asleep so yeah you right eat, eat too
Are you talking? Ah. Ow. You hungry? All right, I feel like I had this whole vlog has literally been like me in the kitchen and me in the living room, but that's the life of living with a newborn. You're not really doing too much. Okay, quick, I'm doing a review really fast. Um, I love the newborn insert. It's super comfy, cozy. He could fit in it really well, even when he was like really small. Um, then you can take it out once they get bigger. So this is what it looks like basically. And then I'm gonna show you guys how it collapses into the little car seat. Oh, I'm about to do it when I get in the car, but there's just a latch right here. And it just goes down. And then they're saying we need to go back up. So, sorry, I had my retainer in my mouth, but it's like super easy to like put up and down and pick it up out of the car. The only thing about it is that it has no storage, so you do have to buy like some type of adapter piece to go on it if you want to be able to carry stuff. So I can fit it, um, diapers, wipes in here, sound machine, bottle on this side, but I already put it in the car, and then you have room for your phone and stuff and I put like sanitizer stuff like that this extends out as well um, the only thing that I will say that I um, noticed about it is like it's I'm five foot and it's perfect for my height but if you're taller than me like it's pretty low as far as even with like it extended out kind of so yeah I love it personally I think that it's worth the money I've had the two-piece system where you have to put the stroller in the trunk, get the car seat out, do all that. And I couldn't imagine doing that with Carter and Carson and Carmelo. So I really, really like it. I personally think that it's worth the money, but I don't think it's an everyday stroller. I think if you buy this, you also have to get like a stroller for like, if you want to go on walks, jogs, stuff like that. This stroller is definitely not built for that. But yeah, headed to go get the boys. So it's super easy to get in the car and then it attaches to a base. So there's a base in the car also. So you just have to put it in. You don't have to do the seatbelt latch or anything unless you don't get the base, but I'm pretty sure that it comes included with the base. And yeah, it just clicks into place and then you go. So I'm about to go ahead to pick them up. Um, and then yeah, I'll probably just see you guys later in the night after I get the boys settled and stuff like that. What's up? We back in the same spot we left off at. About to change your butt. Um, it is, like what time? It's 5.47, so uh, I'm getting ready to pump again here in the next couple minutes. He already ate when I first brought the boys home from school. Say hello, I am pooping right now um, and having a little bit of gas, so. I just got my Amazon order that I placed earlier. Uh, I like these little windy, the little windy things by Frida Baby for gas. But I found them on Amazon. You can get a 20 pack for cheaper. So I got them off Amazon. They look like the exact same as the windy, but. And then I also got some Aquaphor to put on his face for his like little baby acne and stuff. 
And then I ended up ordering the liquid gold supplements because so many of you guys recommended them to me for my milk supply. So I'm going to start taking them tonight and then we'll see what happens. But I'm getting ready to change him, pump again. Carmelo. Carmelo. Over here. Yeah, you can do it over here. Carmelo. Hello. I'm about to give him his bottle and then lay him down in his bed. He's asleep. Um, and the boys have already, Carter and Carson have already gotten their shower and all that good stuff. So dad is going to finish up time with them do my little pumping session really quickly but i totally forgot to tell you guys about these listen if your nipples are sore cracked or you wanted to know like okay you can get nipple cream don't get me wrong like the nipple cream is cool it feels like nice to put on there like if they're like cracked and like um that kind of thing but if they're like really 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 sore or cracked or anything get these i don't know what, how it works but you just put these on in your shirt. I didn't even have to use them today because that's why I forgot about them because I've been using them for the past two days and my nipples literally feel like 1,000 times 
better. And I was putting on nipple cream religiously, like the the Lan Lancinome one. It's not that it doesn't work. It it works for chap nipples, but it doesn't like heal the soreness of them. These are called like I don't know, but I'll link them in my I'll link them in my Amazon store for you. They're pricey. They are pricey. Worth it. You could buy these and skip the nipple cream. You could use like anything that you have at home to put on your nipples, like aqua four, Vaseline, coconut oil, or whatever. Okay, we're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna pump, finish the milk, and then we're gonna get ready for bed. Don't mind the fact that my house is a mess. This is a very realistic 24 hours with the newborn vlog. Okay, I thought about making it really raw aesthetic and all that, but this what it, this 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 is what it's really like. Your house is gonna be a mess because you ain't gonna have time to do shit. You're gonna be tired. Um, but it's gonna be so worth it because babies are amazing. So get this pump in really quickly and then the next pump session we'll do it is at 10 and then we'll be able to sleep. JK, apparently. He started crying as soon as I like left the room. But he's right back asleep on my chest, so. I took my like outside pants off and just got in the bed. And I guess we're just gonna snuggle for a bit. I'm gonna try to put my pumps on. But he's definitely like at that age where he just like wants to be like, like as soon as I leave the room or like go to take a shower or something, he normally just like wakes up, so. You got me. It's okay. I love the snuggles. Yeah. When he started crying, I just went ahead and brought up all the stuff that I need for the night. So I brought up my pump and then y'all saw me fill up the Medela bottles earlier and I put them in here. Sorry if y'all hear like the white noise in the background, it's the hatch machine. But it's basically like an ice pack cooler thing. And it can keep the bottles cool for like 24 hours. So I use this at night instead of like getting up in the middle of the night to like prepare more bottles or go to the fridge just right by the bed I could just pop it in a new bottle or pop a nipple top on and call it a day and then if you guys have watched my self-care routine then you guys can see like my postpartum self-care routine y'all see what was in my like basket that's beside the bed and all that good stuff so if you haven't watched that relaxing bath so I'm about to get ready for bed and I thought it would be fitting to talk about PPD while we get ready for bed. The thing nobody wants to talk about but I'm about to take my probiotics too. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. The ones from Seed I really really like. No promo. I have done a sponsored video with them but I actually really really like them. My evening primrose oil and then I already took my multivitamins earlier this morning. Or in my um care of my care of vitamin package but let's talk about it while i do my in-depth skincare routine tonight my little mini facial routine because carmelo is finally down aaron took him he's laying down hopefully he don't wake up but if you do it is what it is i'm just gonna wash my face off my experience postpartum with all three kids has been like completely different so let's talk about it with my first um son i had him when i was 18 but i got pregnant when i was 17 and i was supposed to be going to college it was my senior year and i ended up being pregnant so with him i didn't really notice that i was like having postpartum until after i like came out of it and then i could like look back and see like I was fucking depressed like all my friends had gone off to school to college and I didn't know like people told me after I had him they're like you definitely had like postpartum and I was like did I really because I really didn't recognize 
that I had it or I was having that emotions. I don't know if it's just because like every day felt like the same um, that I just didn't even realize like that I was sad, I guess. And then with um, Carson, I didn't really have any postpartum depression. I don't know, after him, I was kind of just like, oh, my little family is complete. I was in a really good space in like life, like overall in general. I had um, been living on my own. Like me and Aaron had moved out of our parents' house and we'd been living on our own for a while. We were living in a nice place and things were like looking up. I had like a job that I really, really liked. And so Carson, I feel like I really didn't have postpartum. Um, like pretty much at all. I think I had a little bit of like body dysmorphia after I had Carson because I thought I was like really really big and I like totally wasn't. I was like super thin after I had him but like I kept telling myself for whatever reason that I was like like really really big um, but that was the only thing and then with Carmelo I feel like it's like literally like so different like I'm aware that I'm having postpartum because I feel like I know more like what the signs of postpartum are but having PPD can be like simple as like having low appetite which I have really low appetite right now or like most days it can be like just like small things it doesn't have to be like this huge like thing that I think people make it out to be you can still be experiencing it and having it without it being without even like noticing if that makes sense so this time around I feel like <coughs> I try, I'm trying to find my stuff so I can multitask, but I can't even find all my face stuff, so I'm not even gonna do it all tonight. I'm just gonna wrap it up, but anyways, but this time around I know that I'm having postpartum because I have a really 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 good day. So like today was a good day. I woke up, I had a lot of energy, I'm really happy for the most part. My outlook on life is just like I love it, I'm living my best life. And I wanna say that's pretty much how like 75% of my days are and I'm like really productive. And then the other 25%, I'm like super irritable. I have like horrible mom guilt cause I'm like trying to like hurry up and like get back into a routine cause I feel like my older two, like I'm neglecting them and I know they like miss having like more quality time with me, but now I have to like worry about getting all of them like, you know, ready for bed and like that cuts down on like me sitting in there with them at night and stuff like that so yeah I have those days when I wake up and I feel really really bad and like sad and cry a little bit and every little thing that everybody does in the house irritates the actual shit out of me like breathe the wrong way and I'm gonna be mad like I've had a couple of those days what else I know that it'll be an end to it. I think it's just about getting back into like a routine. I know it could be a while before I like get back onto like something structured and feel completely normal again because that's kind of how like I function. Like I like to be on a schedule. I don't like every day to be like so like repetitive, but I do like things to kind of like flow the same way and know what I'm like, know what to expect. That just because I get anxiety when things are just like different every day or I feel like there's a lot going on and I just like can't get it, you know, like under control yeah i just thought i would share that with you guys because i know a lot of people don't talk about postpartum and it's normal i don't like i'm not feeling so so bad that i'm like you know like actually depressed or having like bad thoughts and stuff like that so if you are you know there's lots of resources and things out there my dms are definitely open um if you need to vent or talk but yeah i thought i was gonna do my skincare but Aaron picked up the bathroom and every time he picks up the bathroom I can never find anything so <laughs> but I'm glad that he did because it was a mess but I can't find my my serums and nothing and I'm not about to look for them because I'll just make a mess trying to take everything back out and then he'll probably be mad so <laughs> I am gonna go pump I missed my last pumping session I was posting on Instagram if you don't follow me over there I don't post a lot on my like feed on Instagram but I do post a little bit on my stories and I do like many like little rants and updates at least once a week about how things are going but like Carmelo woke up and I was about to go pump when he woke up and instead of pumping I was just like I'm just gonna hold him until Aaron came and caught him and like ran me a bath because yeah that's why pumping is hard I feel like because like I don't want to like put him down but I'm like okay well if I don't put him down I'm gonna miss my pump session then he's not gonna have any milk to drink so it's like it's a lot so I'm gonna go do that now y'all 
I be telling myself, do not come out here looking a mess. And what do I be doing? Coming out here looking a mess. Anyways. But yeah, I just finished my bum session. Carmelo ate again. So let's see how much we got. Consistently all day at all of my pumps sessions, I got five ounces. Like all day. Like not out of each boob, like together. Like either three on this one, two on this one, three on this one, two on this one. All day. So it's definitely, I feel like because I pumped, like I was getting so much in the beginning, I'm like discouraged. But it's also like motivating me because I'm like, I'm going to fill these cups up with one boob before I quit pumping or give up like I'm determined because just something about it is so satisfying so after like 45 minutes I got seven and a half ounces this in the fridge so it can cool and let's see what we have left over for the night I don't know we probably got like one or two bags in here maybe like it has like a little measurement on here but it's not really accurate. It looks like it's like not that much. Maybe like maybe like one milk storage bag or something. I'm exhausted. It's 10:45. Even though I had a short nap today. Oh, let me show you guys before I forget because I totally forgot. Well, I didn't forget. I just saw this TikTok. This way. TikTok is awesome. This girl was like like showing this product that she got for her baby for um like gas and colic and i've never heard of anything like that before um and i've had three kids okay so i'm like super excited to try this out i just ordered it off of amazon it looks like this um they make one from the dr brown's brand that makes the bottles but the ones they had were like kind of like for girls so i found this other one on amazon and basically it's like a warming pack that you wrap around baby's belly and it's supposed to like really help relieve like their gas colic reflux all of that so i'm like super excited to try it out because like you guys know like he's been having gas all day and um i burp him like a lot like he burps multiple times in between his feedings so i think it's just like his belly getting used to life i guess <laughs> so yeah my little poor baby he's been going through it with the gas and it's been like waking him up a lot so hopefully that works what do we get a cool five ounces yeah so i only have five ounces extra left over today i guess like technically i could freeze what i just pumped um the seven ounces that i just put up but just because my milk supply is kind of like fluctuating i've been like leaving my last pump in the fridge just in case i need it in the morning if i for whatever reason don't get enough at night for the next day um so i'm just gonna put this all in one bag freeze it up Ooh. but now i can go to sleep and i'm gonna wake up for the next couple hours hopefully <laughs> make myself a late dinner i haven't been wanting to eat dinner very much like at the time the kids eat dinner because they usually eat dinner around like anywhere between like 5 30 and 6 30 and i just haven't been hungry at that time but now i am so i'm about to heat me up some leftover food like i had from earlier and then my brownies i've been eating my brownies all day but i haven't showed you guys i can eat a whole pan of brownies in, in one day they're delicious all the bottles for tomorrow are clean and ready for the morning i'm gonna put this in my with my brownies i'm gonna make a bowl like a little brownie a little brownie bowl <laughs> and i'm gonna turn it up like how much should people really be getting out of each food like what's the max amount of ounces you can pump <laughs> 